Hey and welcome, my name is Rose and today I'm gonna take you around my favorite garden center ever. It's finally time for another plant tour. I do have a mask with me just in case, but there is literally nobody, nobody in the houseplant section. <laughs> this is amazing. It's never been this quiet here. I did get here very early, so I love it. Here on the desk, they always have amazing plants. And this is the reason why I got here today. I saw on their Instagram that they had some Florida ghosts. So cool. Obviously I have one, so I don't need it, but I wanted to show you guys that these are actually for sale in garden centers right now. It looks really pretty. It's turning green slowly, but as you can see, it was pretty white. And here's another one with fun little parts on it. Looks very beautiful. I like it a lot. And then they have several other cool philodendron as well. So this is, I think they're calling it the golden, golden something. Oh, these are 50 euros. Oh, I didn't tell you the price. The ghosts are 130 and these are 50. They write the prices on the pots now. These ones are a different kind of pedatum. I saw the, the thing on their stories. I'll share it in the title. I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's a very narrow looking philodendron, as you can see here. Also, this one has some weird lines in it, which looks amazing. It looks very cool. And then here we've got some painted ladies, very small, but this one does have a variegated spot. <laughs> if you want to go crazy over variegation, you can. These are 6C for these small ones. Oh, and I forgot these ones. They are 90. I don't know exactly what they are. I think these look like golden dragons, the ones with the weird spots. It's almost like Splash on a Hoya. There's several of those as well. And then in these boxes, there are some weird looking orchids growing mounted. And obviously, I also have to show you these. There is Monstera dubia here. These are 200 and they're growing against a little wooden plate. And then this one, you can really see how they shingle and it's very beautiful. I've never had a shingling plant. These are the Rephidophora hyi. I don't know how to pronounce, but I am getting one of these. They are 130 euros, so they're not cheap. And I have no idea how to grow them. Whoa, and this is very growing very fast. As you can see, this is very long compared to the piece of wood it had. What I love about this place is that there is always something fun to see. So in every corner, whether it's the mini plants or the big plants or the special plants, there's always some cool plants that you can find. So it really pays off to go through all the aisles here. Let's have a look. Here in the Maranta and Calathea section, of course, there are our favorite common ones, the pinstripey calatheas, but they also have these golden, I don't know what they're called officially. You guys know I like to look at calatheas, but I don't know the proper IDs. I think this is a Grupertia now, but I do like the look of them. And they are 22 euros for a really tall one. They also have, oh, I forgot to show you. They have some mini philodendron, Neon, yes, philodendronium. And this one has a bit of variegation again, so you can freak out if you want. <laughs> These are nine euros. It happens a lot, guys. Plants like to be weird, just like me. On this corner, there are some philodendron, philodendron silver sword, and I don't know, the royal queen, I think. I'm not quite sure. Raphidoph for tetrasperma. Just lots of fun looking plants. And I really like that they have this motorbike as a plant stand. It's unexpected with some Syngonium frosted hearts on there, philodendron, neon, some begonia flowering. Oh, and a little micans in the hanging pot. And of course, Astralitia. In the begonia aisle, there are lots of different kinds. I think this is Tamaya, 
some kind of angel wing, different silvery ones, and a really, really, really tall maculata. I actually just got a begonia. I'm trying again to see if I can keep it alive. We'll see. Stay tuned. Ooh, and this one has funky little hairs on it. A really big alocasia cerian. The stems kind of look like that one that I just got the alocasia guinea gold, but the leaves are beautiful and skinny. They definitely have some large form Monstera variegata here. Look at that. You can see the new leaf unfurling with lots of fenestrations. It's very cool to see. Look at how many holes there are. Very special. And there's some more down here. As you can see, it doesn't have a lot of white, but they have a lot of holes. And then this might be small form, I don't know. I don't know if they are actually large form. I'm just seeing so many holes that you don't normally see on the what we used to call Borsigiana. So, very cool. Some more begonias to show you. I love these colors. Looks like pastel paradise. And then these ones look very dinosaur-like with the colors as well as the pattern. I've never seen these. They look funky as well. These are 16 euros and it says begonia. Can I read that? Bunchii? Bunchil? I don't know. Some philodendron Brazil. Price, 3 euros. <laughs> Some skindapsis. I don't know what these are, but they are 3.5 euros. I actually really like this one. I don't normally like them, but I like this one. Oh, cool. They still have that philodendron Florida green or Florida, just normal. That is insanely big. Check that out. And I've had some questions of people asking what, how you can tell if it's a pedatum or a Florida. And you can tell by the little blobs. If the stems, the petioles are like this, then it's a Florida because it's been crossed with squamiferum, the very hairy stems. And if it's a smooth one, then it's a pedatum. I'll try and find you a normal one as well. But look at the size of those leaves. That's crazy. And this is only half a leaf. Some ZZs and Zabrinas and Homolominas. They have a lot, so I'm not taking super slow to show you everything. Some Monstera Acuminata and Adansonii, which I've promised to tell you more about and I will one day but not right now. Here are the normal Monstera variegatas. These are 200 for quite big pots. Here's another one. This is very cute. Beautiful variegation. And then on here is the weird plant that I've seen before. I don't know what it is. But I'll try and show you on the other table. <laughs> Another silver sort, but look at the stem. That is so chunky. Whoa. And see, literally nobody here. That's the best way of shopping. This aisle looks very promising. They've got alocasias and anthuriums. So I don't know what these are. I haven't seen them before. They must be some kind of new anthurium. And of course, clarinervium. Some I cannot see the price, but we'll see them again later and I can tell you the price more easy. Some alocasia cupria that are 10 euros. And some beautiful dragon scales. Mine came from here and they grow so beautiful. These are 13 euros for such a nice size one. And then some, I think they're Bambino or Polly. I don't like them personally, sorry. And more Sarians. Let's see the price of the Sarians. They are 19 euros. And the big, which I think is a Wentii, is 10. And you might see some stuff on the leaves. It's because they started using natural 
pest treatments. So they have good bugs on the plants now, which I love because it's much better than spraying the plants. Here are those plants that I showed you before. Let's see what they are called. Just says a pepronum and they're 20 euros. I think it was amplissimum or something, but I may have remembered that wrong. Looks very cool, like a skinny long leaf. Very nice. Oh, and I skipped over the variegated Serapegia woody eyes because they are everywhere. These are 15 euros. They're very easy to get here in Holland. And some string of spades, nine euros. Here are some smaller Floridas that again, you can see the stems are red, yes, but sometimes pedatums have that too. These have the fuzzy, can we focus on the fuzzy please? Thank you, fuzzy stems. And these are 20 euros for quite a big plant, so that's cool. Some Monsteris peperu. This big pot, it says something else, but it's 44 euros. Ooh, and there's a really, really long one here, look. That's probably also 20 euros and it's very big, very cool. Yep, also 20. String of pearls that are kind of dead right now in my care, sorry. They're opening the windows. So I'm just waiting for that noise to stop. On this side, there are lots of normal philodendrons, scandens or heterosium, and micans, heterosium, heterosium, they are 10 euros. And some beautiful moonshine, scandapsis, moonlight. I always say that one wrong, sorry. Oh, prices, prices, prices. Tell them the prices, 15 euros for this one. And then this philodendron is 20. It looks like the royal queen, but I always mess up those different varieties, so don't hold me to that. Uh, beautiful, they call it a cobra, but it's a stand liana that, as we know it. And it's got quite a nice amount of white. One of the stems actually <laughs> fell all the way down. Look, there's more white. How much are you, mister? This whole plant with many, many stems is 25. On the top here, we've got huge philodendron lemon limes that are 44 for such a big pot. Some silver sword hastatums for 17. Oh, and this is adorable, a little philodendron narrow. What are you? How much are you? 50. That's very cute. I like the leaf shape of that a lot. Here's another a smaller philodendron lemon lime. These are 10 now. And look, this one has got some variegation. If you wanna freak out, now is the time. It's on a lower leaf though. And just so you know, I don't see it on another leaf. It is here on the sheath, the petiolar sheath. But I've learned from my Florida ghost that it doesn't mean that it's also on the leaf because my ghost always has this on the sheath, but not on the leaf, sadly. So yeah, that looks very fun. 10 euros, that's so cool. They used to be 40, you guys. If you have patience, you can definitely find cool plants for not a lot of money. I don't know what this is, philodendron red onyx, 10 euros. Never seen that before or heard of it, but a nice Brazil. On this side, some more alocasias. We've got a stingray here that is eight euros. More cuprias. These look a little bit bigger than the other ones. So they might be a little bit more. These are 13, yes. Getting nice and chunky. Random leaf of a zebrina in there, but these are uh, black velvets. I wonder if I can get one out to show you. Yes, 10 euros. So that's pretty good as well. And then, oh, I almost missed it, but a variegated anthurium over here. I can't see the price, it's too much in the pot, but you can see it nicely against the light. Over to some of the more normal <laughs> plants, because they are also very cool to see. It just says new, but it's very pretty. And a uh, jungle jewels, they call it here, but this is a Pilea calderii four euros, if I say that right. It says something else on the label, but some nice Fitonia. And on this side of the aisle, those bigger orange peperomias that you guys seem to love when I have 
bought that. These are eight euros. Of course, some more beautiful peperomia. This is the Argrea, it says on the label. Watermelon peperomias. Oh, price, eight euros. Some Paleia Moon Valley, adorable. And it's actually flowering. I love it when Paleias flower. It looks so strange and unexpected. See, tiny, tiny flowers. How much are these? Let's see, nine euros. And look, there's a tiny little cutting. So if you find something like this in a garden center, obviously it's broken off already. So you can think that it's not stealing to take it. But if you want to take it, I always advise you to ask because they will be able to see that this, I didn't break this off, it was here. And also they can watch my video, but it's just nice to have a good relationship with a shop and not steal from them. Even if you think it's not stealing, it is if you take this. So if you want this, ask someone and they will tell you yeah sure it's fine or they say no you cannot take that because it's pot material and we paid for that so no ask i almost missed them but here are the clarinerviums beautiful beautiful plants these are 40 euros and they're all growing lots of whoa there's really an insane amount of what do you call them inflorescences and some might actually be making seeds that's awesome so another thing if you see this in a botanical garden or in a garden center they're making seeds and they're ready these are not ready yet but just go and ask if you can take some of the seeds you don't have to steal them you can just ask people are quite nice in the plant community if you treat them nicely here's the velvet peperomia that i really like as well can't see the price it's packed full over there and look over on the tiny plants aisle i found the paileas so you can actually buy them for a small size as well which i love i like these to be kind of small because of space you know <laughs> some adorable little string of turtles that i haven't tried anymore since killing the previous ones with bugs not my fault but still some crocodile ferns some sensivirias Oh, and this one is quite cute. This looks like silicon. I think this is a Haworthia. Someone asked to show more Haworthia, so I'm working on a video about them with a specialist, not me. <laughs> Some tiny Hoya princess. Am I saying that right? Princess. Crimson princess, that's it. So this is why I think most Dutch people are not necessarily fussed about crimson princesses because they're for sale for two euros and basically everyone I know has one. Mine died, but still. <laughs> they're not like hard to get or expensive here at all. Some adorable little terrariums. And this is actually a plan I had to make one as well. Maybe you'll see that soon with a little biophytum in it to make it look like a palm tree because my boyfriend likes palm trees. And this is recycled glass, so that's cool as well. They're about 30 to 40 euros. Some more baby plants and they have Brazils and regular philodendron scandens and also some tiny, tiny Skindapsis pictus, which is cute. You can get this for two euros and grow it super big. Alocasias and syngoniums and beautiful colored coleus. I'm kind of thinking of trying these for my garden next year. I lost the one that I had. Somehow it disappeared in a storm. I think it blew away. Some tiny string of pearls. several fitonias. I like this kind. Mine are growing so fast in the terrarium that I actually took a lot of cuttings for a neighbor. Tiny baby orchids. And the carnivorous plant section. They have different pitcher plants. The vegetarian kinds, the ones that eat leaves and the ones that also the ones that eat flies. Some of them are flowering and different cool patterns. This is the special plant section, this little house. It's always extra fun to check out. So you, right away you see these beautiful leaves of the, oh, I forgot the word, Monstera pinitita partita. I think I'm saying that right. It's part of their huge plant that's 500 euros and super chunky. 
and then some monstera it's a nice variegation this one is beautiful look at that the new leaf coming out you can see how much white is on there but there's enough green on the plant to keep it nice and balanced these oh i forgot the price i'll try and find it for you later no i will try and find it for you now Ugh. 180. see how cool that looks definitely a cool plant to buy some varicosums very cute i love the new leaves they look so neon um what are these costing like 40 probably or 50 50. some philodendron tortum these are 25. i recently got one of these and i actually like them now so <laughs> sorry about before when i didn't show you them properly here are some 60 euro zebrina black so the leaves are the same as Sabrina, but the stems are fully black and it looks very cool. Some weird begonias. Very cute. And some of those dragon jades. More philodendron in all the colors. Prince of Orange. And this is a little philodendron burl marks. So cute. I really want a variegated of this now. I saw it with some friends and they just look adorable. So much growth on them too. 34, 50. And then we've got this, I hope you can hear me over the carts that are driving by. Some more people are waking up, I think. Big philodendron here or, oh, I, I think I showed you this last time. I don't think it's a philodendron. I don't know what it is though. It looks very cool. Just look at that stem, I cannot even circle it with my hands and I have very big hands more variegated anthurium and smaller oh this is actually cool a smaller sarian usually the smaller ones are not for sale so it's nice that they're starting to do that these are 13 euros that's nice I love alocasia don't tell anyone these I still don't understand they sell them as ring of fires if I'm correct Hmm, it doesn't say. 13 euros. I've seen these sold as Ring of Fires or even uh, Princes of Orange. I don't remember, but they're so orange. How can they survive? Don't they need green? Where's your green, buddy? It does look like it's turning more orange. I don't understand. Let me know in the comments. What is this and why does it survive? <laughs> Some of those dragony things. And this is a weird looking fern. Look at those patterns. I like it because it's so structurally organized. <laughs> Unlike me. I just realized I forgot to show you a lot of those prices, but these are the bigger philodendron prints of orange. They are 35 euros and the leaves are really big. Look at that. There's some moonshine philodendron. Moonshine, I think. These are very big. Let's see. Do we see a price? like trying to find something in a jungle like literally I cannot see all done also some micans by the way cute cute micans hanging all the way down from there oh, here it is a label on this one philodendron maloney or something 30 euros very big some variegated maranta Kerchiviana. I'm starting to learn how to pronounce that. They're very cute as well. I got mine from here ages ago. These are 20. And some Friedeck. Beautiful. Not actually Friedeck. I know. Mycoliziana. They are 60. The Velvet. I love these so much. I'm so happy with mine. Beautiful. On this aisle, I found some more funky plants, like very unexpected. These look like the Ruelia Macoyana, and I don't, yes, I do see a price, five euros. But then here, there's some funky looking begonias. Check that out, kind of orangey looking. These are 10, Begonia Dietrichiana. And these are 
some kind of orchids. Dendrobium, maybe? I used to be into orchids. These are nine euros. I'm not into them anymore, but it's cool to see such a funky looking orchid in a garden center. I mean, would you be able to know that this is an orchid? Honestly, in the comments, please let me know. <laughs> Lots of Birkins, I'll show you them on the other side. And those purple plants that are super bright purple. Literally, there's such weird plants here. It's quite cool. Um, Strobliantus, 15 euros. And then these ones, I've seen them on Instagram being posted. These are Corcostus Arabicus Ferragata, 50 euros. And it grows in a very cool, I don't know if you can see that, but it grows. I've learned this from Rohir in the botanical gardens. They grow in like a spiral. Do you see that? One leaf comes out and then it's like a little staircase going upwards. Very pretty. Ooh, and look, I have never seen these IRL before. This is Calathea White Measure. I heard she's a bitch, but kind of pretty. I'm not gonna try this because it's gonna die in my care. They are 50 euros, five zero. And those little seropegias, it says Woodyi Simoniae, 12 euros. These apparently are very special. I had no idea, but my plant, ooh, this is flowering. Here we go, let me show you this. So apparently these are very special. Woo! And this one is flowering. I'm shaking a little bit, sorry. I drove over here for the first time in a long time. Did you know that Serapegias are super closely related to Hoya? They're in the same family. So that's cool to know, I thought. Some more Birkins in the back there. <laughs> they even have avocado trees. If you've ever tried to grow an avocado tree, <laughs> you know what this looks like, but this is what it looks like, five euros. So that's good. I have several in my garden now. I used to grow a lot of these. And if you like them, go check out Scott Grows an Avocado Tree on YouTube. He's very funny and he has a cool channel. Oh, there's actually one in flower here that's much more easy to show you. And it's not shaking. So here's another Serapegia flowering. Of course, more Cuprias as well, but I showed you them already. Oh, and some pink dragons, 10 euros. Oh, and I didn't show you these either, the prices. <laughs> these are 30. I don't know what exactly they are though. That one seems to be nice and stuck. And smaller Prince of Orange, 30. And lots of tiny little silver swords for 15. And more variegated Monstera. These are all the ones that are 180, I think. Yeah, in general, a very cool aisle. But now look, let's go look at the Hoyas, cause you know I love Hoyas. One of my favorite places is the hanging plant section because they have a lot of Hoyas here, but also sometimes some very ex unexpected anthuriums and stuff. These seem to be Hoya Wayeti, and they're all 30 euros in these pots. Some Crimson Queen or Carnosa Albo Marginata, that's 25. And then, We've got some Breviolata here. Oh no, Hushkiliana, 30. I confused that, sorry. Those are very cute. Hopefully very soon I'll receive a parcel in the mail with a variegated plant of this one. A cutting from my friend Rachel, so that's very sweet. I'm super excited. Some, what are you? I'm afraid to say now, Rosita. Mine is seriously almost dead, so it's nice to see Rosita's alive. These are 30 as well. And these beautiful Sigillatis, labeled wrong, it's okay. They used to get it all confused, like in general in the plant world. So that's why often it's still mislabeled. This looks very nice. I hope mine survives. Some crinkle eights for 12. I'm guessing that's a crinkle eight. I don't know for sure. On the other side, some adorable Hoya Sunrise. Look at the sun stress on those. Those are also 25. And more Rositas. And some Carii down here, 20 euros. And a variegated Carii as well. Monstera Speperu. Very cute, those little tiny baby sunrise leaves. What is this? This looks very nice as well. I might want one. <laughs> 
like some kind of publicalyx maybe with a lot of new growth. Can you see that? The stem is growing all over. It just says Hoya, 12 euros. Very cool. This one is actually growing a lot more. But I like this small one, the kind of sad one. <laughs> I'm weird, sorry. No, not sorry, I like being weird. Some bigger Apeponym panatums with fenestrations and just generally big leaves compared to mine. And there are many more Sigillatis actually. There's a lot of them, see? So if you're afraid they're gonna run out, they're probably not. And on this Hoya corner, we've got our regulars, Hoya Rattusa. This one is nine euros. Some hearts that we don't know if they're gonna live or not. Well, they're gonna live, but they might not grow. The huge dinner plate Hoya. That is 70 euro, if I remember correctly. Yes. I wonder if that's starting to grow. I would love to see it grow because those leaves, but babies would be adorable to see. And then some more China beans. So, Waiyeti. And of course the Carnosa compact Compactas. These are 28, so. That's not cheap. I guess it depends on what um, nursery you get it from. Some Hoya Australis Lisa. Very, very splashy Publicalix. That actually looks very cool. Hold on. Look at that. Those leaves are so splashy. The back side of the plant, not so much. What is the price? It's so wobbly. 17 euros see if i would buy this i would cut out the or keep the part that is so splashy and give the rest away and then you have a very cool special publicalix some crimson queens and some of those publicalix with very dark leaves as they come out and the stems are kind of black almost looks very cool some regular australis and this is the plant that I maybe love the most. It's a Strelitzia that is so tall. Goals for my Strelitzia Philippe. Look what I found. I totally overlooked these Stefania erecta bulbs that you can grow yourself. These are eight euros. So that's a lot nicer than the big ones that they have. I'll show you in a moment. But he did tell me that these can take two years to root. Two years you'll have just this bulb in a pot. So now it kind of makes sense why these other ones that are also a lot bigger, but they are a hundred euros because they're already rooted. You don't have to be patient for possibly two years and probably can also be quicker, but look, this one is growing. I had some requests to show you more cacti, which I'm also working on with a specialist, but here you go, cacti. <laughs> I literally don't know what to tell you about them. So I know this one is cool. Because Rogier likes it and it's like, you can find these in botanical gardens. So they're very cool. I forgot the name. Bupa Stichta. But they are not easy to grow indoors. Oh, and here's a big one. Same kind. Lots and lots of cool cacti in this shop because they use a special importer or how do you say a grower that grows really cool cacti and it still has the right labels on them and everything and the guy who works here oh actually i love this one look how cute i'll tell you in a moment bases and a big lithops he was telling me that some of these are actually winter proof in the netherlands in europe like this one and these pink ones as well. If you can keep them dry, you can keep them outside for winter. So that's pretty cool, I would say. And there are some of those, oh, uh, what's the word? <gasps> I know what they're called, but I forgot. There was this whole video that Summer Rain made about these Astrophytum, there we go, five euros, because people apparently love them in Asia. And yeah, they are cool. I also really like the look of this one. Just lots of bulbs blobs together when he was saying that these are also very special and they flower very nicely 
Shall I show you the price? These are four euros. Oops. You can see them about to flower here. So pink flowers, adorable. This is this color. <laughs> I'm losing names in my brain now. I'm a bit tired. And the big plant section. Huge plant section, I should say. Another scissors. Huge peppernum orium. Look at those leaves. Monsteras. Tiny but stunning caladiums. I actually love this leaf. I wonder how much they are. Six euros for a really small one, so that's really good, especially because it's the end of the caladium season now, so they sometimes want to go to sleep. So you might want to wait to buy them, but these are actually very affordable and beautiful. Look at that. With the almost see-through leaves. Ooh, it's so tempting. I love these. I love caladiums. Some huge Ludicia discolor jewel orchids. You'll hear a lot more background noise now because I'm right next to the cafe where people are chatting Ooh, and throwing things over. <laughs> that wasn't me. <laughs> these are kind of velvety and I love them. I have a tiny one that's hopefully growing in my moss, but especially this, like this new leaf, you can hopefully see how like neon that looks. It's very cool. Some smaller Diefenbachia reflectors, 10 euros. And the bigger ones are 22. And Aglionema which I'm not a big fan of, sorry. They're pretty, but I don't want to own them. Little Mikans, these are nine euros and they're looking great. I feel like growers are starting to learn how to take care of these more. And some weird looking Fazia variegata. And some more Mikans, but on a trellis. And this actually shows you very nicely what a trellis, what support does for the leaves. I hope you can tell how, bigger, how much bigger these leaves are than the previous ones for almost the same price. Here is one more beautiful caladium that I missed again with the see-through leaves. Can you see my fingers moving back there being creepy? This, wonder how much this is. And if you know what kind this is, definitely tell me because next year I want to try all the caladiums. This is 15 euros. So that is a great price. They used to be much more. They used to be like 30 in some places. Not this place, but still. Ooh, baby Clarinervium leaf. You know I have to show you those. I love them so much. Ooh, and another one. Adorable, adorable, I love you. I almost forgot, but I promised to show you the Birkins. These are 25 for such a chunky big pot with nice amounts of white. Looking super happy and healthy. And yeah, that's about it, I think, for today. <gasps> Ooh, look at this. A half moon anthurium leaf. That is pretty insane. Let's give you a better background. Look at that. That looks even more pretty with the green in the back. So a variegated jungle boogie or jungle king or whatever it is. How many? I, I don't know. But with half white. It has some good genes because this one as well got a lot of white even some pink on there on the corner and oh look there's another one that has a lot of white this is a very cool plant so come and get it how much is it oh it's actually do you see that shininess that means that it's ready to be pollinated and this whiteness is actually pollen oh can we focus and this whiteness is actually pollen so this is coming from the same plant. I don't think they want to make babies together, but let's see if we can find another plant to make some babies. I'm by myself today, so I couldn't film it, but I made babies <laughs> between that plant and this beautiful anthurium that gets quite dark leaves once they mature. So I'm really curious to see if this will get seeds. You can actually see it, hold on. To see the white on there, that is the focus. That is the receptive part that I smash some pollen on it is 75 euros definitely awesome 
I went back through the carnivorous plants and I actually found this adorable one. I don't know what it is. But look, there's little circles at the ends. It just looks adorable. Another Drosera, five euros. So cute. I just asked for this little Pailea and he said, it's okay, I can take it. And he really appreciated me asking. So there's a tip for you. Make friends with your local plant shops, ask, and then they will be nice or they will say no. Both are good, but you've asked and you've stayed friends and you haven't stolen anything. It's a little bit busier now, so time for me to head home and put on my mask. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, comment below, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.